Agora TV. The world is thinking. But the broader question about the internet is an absolutely fascinating one because many people, again, there isn't a single answer to it, but it could be seen and has largely been seen as a great emancipating tool and also a galvanizing tool, particularly social networking, particularly Twitter with Iran last summer and the demonstrations which, which uh, enabled people to get on the streets. However, there is another explanation um, of the effect of, of the internet, and that is actually for semi-authoritarian states, and I need to develop my point about why this is a new form of authoritarian control that is quite that shares many characteristics with, but is also quite different from the old-style Cold War type totalitarians, you could actually argue the internet works well for them because it, it operates as a safety valve mm -hmm. for people. So where, there you are, sitting in your bedroom or your, or your study at home, uh, tapping away at your computer, and whether you're commenting on something or whether you're blogging about something, it's a wonderful, wonderful um, means to, to, to let off your anger with very little public galvanizing effect. Because if everybody is doing it in, 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 in blissful isolation, um, then it dissipates the, uh, the, 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 the galvanizing effect of, of public action. So you could actually argue that instead of people coming onto the streets or acting publicly and civically in a more collective sense, the internet is working in the other direction.